stand on a clean metal platform, a beautiful but antiquated elevator. There are some scuffs to show its age, signs of things dragged onto it over the years, but it seems to be in good working order. What in the hells? I never knew this was here. This was always Cazador's private quarters. Only he ever came in here. Well, him and the unfortunate souls we brought to feed him. in the hells? I never knew any of this was here.
On the pillow rests a skull with a scroll clamped in its bony jaws. The skull's empty eye sockets flare with an eldritch gleam. You feel invited somehow to witness the skull's memories. It seems urgent. This skull is all that remains of the vampire Velios. He turned Casador, gave him the gift, and then taught him the rules of vampiric existence. Valiot's first lesson is always to dominate. Allow none to be your equal. Valioth recalls when Casador reached out to a former friend. His punishment was to watch as Valioth drained his friend dry. Valioth's second lesson is that power comes from solitude. To share with others is to be weak, and to be weak is to fail and die. Valioth recalls when Casador rebelled against him. Casador suffered eleven years of impalement because he failed. Valioth's third lesson is to act not in haste. A near immortal has time to plan, time to act only when others will pay the price of action. Valioth recalls Casador, his lessons learned, killing him in the rite of perfect slaughter. How they both laughed. Valioth recalls Casador boiling the flesh from his skull and then to mock him, clamping his schooling scroll in Velioth's jaws. The skull's eyes flash a final time, and its jaws sag open. The scroll with all of Casador's rituals is yours. Velioth is no more. Sailing you with pungent, musty air. 